Okay, so now opening up the old bee house, house, I guess. It's not a hive, it's not a house. So it normally went into the top here, um, but this opening should allow us to get into the bottom. You can see there's really nothing in there. Just sure there is. empty comb. <laughs> but let's see from the bottom. Oh, very hard. You know, they say that the bees have a particular kind of... Uh-oh. In fact... That opens up over there. Pull that out. Oh, it opens up from the side. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, look. Look at that. It's perfect comb. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no bees in it. I'll be darned. So, now that I've been able to open up and go inside, you can see, now that I've pretty well cleaned out everything, that the bees started from the top, and that's where they attached the combs and worked their way down. And it's the actual camera itself that was the attach point for the entire set of combs and is now pretty well destroyed. I don't know how I'm going to get the hard part off that camera, but that's where it is. But inside, you can see there were four layers and just the beginning of a fifth. So this was the first layer, the second, and you can see these are just beautiful combs, both sides. One for probably bees at the bottom, perhaps, and then the honey at the top. You can see up here the coloring. And another big one here, and you can see a little piece of the honeycomb, really the honey part. And then here, the very last one here, you can see it was just a sliver being made and very thin but both sides perfectly designed with the honeycomb structure you can see in there so perfectly done and they obviously were able to take advantage of every little piece but that's what we found so nice beautiful specimen of the inside of a beehive and now we'll have this transported into our new beehive and hopefully be able to camera the whole activity of building and growing bees so that's the bee story for today thank you very much